Welcome, my dear J26 and 2027 students. This is a very important critical update regarding the 75% requirement of your board exams to be eligible for counseling into IITs, NITs, and also the third attempt, which is there, which is not there rather in J Advanced, but it is there in J Mains. So this affects all the current 12th and the dropper students. So make sure you watch the video till the end and please subscribe because you will miss all the important information and the timely updates and we only give official information no rumors no random clickbaity stuff so thank you for liking and subscribing in case you have not done that please do it thank you so much now let's get to the official notification right over here as you can see this is from the government of india ministry of education department of higher education this has come just two days three days back 27th august reconstitution of the board structure and administrative framework for j apex board jab for the joint entrance examination for the year 2026 and 2027 for the admission to ug programs in iits nits and the all the central government or government colleges basically this is basically for uh, okay they have given some random things let's not go there now, consequent to the completion of the term of the previous jab for smooth conduct of J mains and advance for 2026 and 2027, it has been decided by the authority to reconstitute the jab with the following composition. Now, let me explain this first. See, NTA is a body which conducts the exam logistically and technically. That means the software and, you know, the protection, security, all that is handled by J, even the J advance, by the way. A lot of people think JE advance is conducted by IITs. Yes, the question paper is said by IITs, but not the conduction. Okay, that logistical part is conducted by NTA. Now, JAB is basically that body, which is the framework, the administrative framework for, you know, it's called as a JE Apex board that decides what should be the criteria to get into IITs, what should be the eligibility what should be the minimum pass percentage, what should be the age limit, what should be the cutoff, all these things are decided by JAB. Understood? Okay. So, exam is conducted logical, uh, logistical support by NTA. The constitutional framework, the administrative framework is decided by JAB. Now, the JAB term just got ended. Now, new members have been, you know, appointed. Now, the most important name over here is Professor S.K. Jain. He is the former VC of BHU and amazing personality. Now, why am I telling you this? See, when it's not just the main chairperson who has changed, but all the members, you can see, all these are the members, the director general, additional secretary, additional uh, director, chairman, representative, director, all these people have changed. Now, once... A big change like this happened, it is very likely that the rules, the eligibility also change, but in a better way. And let me tell you, Sudhir Jain, sir, okay, he himself is a PhD, he is a very amazing professor and, you know, he's from IIT Kanpur now. And uh, you can see his email ID is also there here. Why am I mentioning the email ID? Why? You should guess it. If you're smart enough, you know it by now, because the sir and his team members should understand the requirements of the students, the parents and the teachers. And what is the most important requirement right now? Two requirements. Number one, if J means has three attempts and J advance has two attempts, it doesn't make sense. Why will a student take one more drop the third time to go into only NITs and not for IITs? Obviously, if he has to take a drop, they will be for both IITs and NITs. So either there should be, you know, three attempts for J advance and J mains or it doesn't make sense just having two attempts for advance and three for mains. Clear? Okay. The second demand is the 75% board marks criteria doesn't make sense at all. And we had made a video before this and everybody had commented the same. So even during our times when we had, you know, J, we did not have that 75% rule. Even a student with 60% used to go into IITs. So it doesn't make sense. I mean, they were all uh, logically competent. And as long as you are eligible, you have cracked the most difficult exam, why should board marks matter? So this 75% criteria should be lowered. If not eliminated, at least make it 60% or 50%. Because NEET exam has 
50% eligibility in boards, number one, which is again conducted by NTA. Second thing, there is no limit on the number of attempts of a NEET exam. Even a 50-year-old can write it, there is no limit on the number of attempts also. No age limit also. So why that age limit is there for engineering? Yeah. So I want everybody to email sir, kindly draft a polite email, don't be rude. Please consider our request and only when those emails reach sir's inbox will the chairperson and the committee members, you know, reconsider the decision because they are now going to make that brochure, the form filling, everything is going to happen now in the next few months. So all those criteria will be decided by the honorary committee members, as you can see. And also JAB will be a, a would have a permanent secretary which will be provided by NTA. So JAB will be not only assisting J uh, and it will be also having five members from NTA, IIT, senior representatives from ISI, which will be again nominated by Apex board. And JAB will be the final authority for se setting up policies. This is the most important line. See JAB and who is the chairperson? Sudhir Jain sir. He, they are the final people who are going to set up policies, rules, regulations for conducting of JE mains and also it will coordinate for J advance. So no point mentioning education minister, no point emailing NTA director. They are not going to look into it. JAB is the authority. Is that clear? NTA will only provide the support logistically, administratively for conducting the J across the country. Understand that. JAB of the IIT system shall continue assuming responsibility for con conducting of the J advanced exam. NTA will only manage information technology, IT and back-end activities for pre and post exam work. And transparency processes will be established by IIT in both mains and advanced. Okay. These issues are subject to approval of honorable education minister okay and they have sent the copies to all the important people out there so this is our official notice now is our opportunity please share this video this is the most important video which you should be sharing liking right now commenting only then many kids are going to get in touch with Sudhir Jain sir and only then a change can happen it's completely in your hands seniors see even 2027 students should mail don't think your seniors will do it and don't think that i will wait for one more year and then do it no everybody should do it okay everyone please do that please do that right away right now whether you are a dropper student already taking a partial drop studying somewhere yeah please do it and please share this video and like this video only then youtube will push it to many kids out there okay thank you so much this was captain shreyas signing off